nice and easily. So what you do is, um, let's see that. Like that, always 25, um, 25 uh, leaves in, and always the same size. So you see the spine there. Mm -hmm. okay. If you roll it from the spine, if you roll it from the other end, then you'll crunch the gold up, and then you'll be able to oh weave it away. Turn it down and roll the other way, and that loosens the leaf because the gold leaf is sandwiched between layers of tissue paper. Mm -hmm. which will be fine powder on so they don't stick. But if they've been sitting a long time, then they won't come up so easily. So you rolled it from the spine and then? From the spine, and then turn it over and again from the oh, spine. Okay. Always roll from the spine. Always roll from the spine there, which is what I'm talking about. I'm in a candle, so I've got this on the right, and then when you're on top on the left. Um, <clears throat> now, a number of things can go wrong, and that's your water splashing on the gold that will be put down. Mm -hmm. So the less you drag this over the gold you put down, the less mm -hmm. likely you are to be successful. So what I do is I um, um, fold a bit of paper there and then put this actually on there. So I'm always going, mm -hmm. right. always going out of this. Right? You put a bit of paper on this, if you give it the water dribbles down, it will stain your gesso. So um, let's get a bit of and as you'll also see that when I demonstrate the actual gilding, you don't want to be gilded on a flat board. The board's got to be tilted a bit. So I have some little thin books about that big, so I um, haven't got those, so I need to buy a big or borrow something. I forgot to, one of the things I forgot to bring. Has anyone got any really thin something rather about? It might be a trick. Okay, so you want, you want a slight um, mm -hmm. slope. The reason, as you shall see, is we, we cut our gold and hold it, but just before we drop it, we, we flood that area with water and we want the water to flow away from the gold mm. we've laid. Oh, That's why you need a slight slope. Okay. If it's too much of a slope, the water will. Um, Flow away too quickly. <laughs> if you snow so it'll sit there and it won't dry quickly enough. So it's like, so always start from the same place, always. I'm a left-hander, so I start from the bottom right hand corner. Always do the high parts first, okay? That's mm -hmm. because water will go downhill. And if you yield the bottom part first, of course when I do the top part, the water will go on top of the gold. Mm -hmm. So I start at the bottom right hand corner, then I'll go round the cubot. So if you st always start in the same place at the icon, you know when you come to burnish, I started there, so that's where I start burnishing. Right. So that's, that's why I'm sloping. I'm sloping from right to left. If you're a right-handed, you might like to start on the left and go right, in which case you slope it the other way. So now <clears throat> I'm going to... There are various ways you can unload the, um, the gold, but one way, it's a, a bit of a knack. So, if you, if you unfold it up like that, what might happen to it? When it opens up, what's going to happen to the gold leaf? Mm 